Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a supposed to be a love reading. I'm going to focus on love. We're going to see what comes up. This is for January. What do we got for Libra? What do we have for Libra in regards to love? Relationship. A love relationship. What do we got for Libra in regards to a love relationship? Keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you. Well, that's too much. That's a big pile. That was a temperance reverse down there on the bottom. A temperance reverse is going overboard, engaging in negative patterns. You may need some self-healing. Um, there could be the onset of some illness. You may need to re-examine whatever it is that you are holding on to, unable to let go of the past, or some sort of inappropriate behavior with the temperance reversed. The star. Now this is help. We talked about this the other day. This is somebody coming to your aid, coming to the rescue. So yeah, you may have be have, or you could be coming to somebody's rescue. This is a wish being granted, your prayers being answered. So some, and, and this could be somebody that has passed away that is coming to help you, that is aiding you, bringing somebody to you, you know, guiding somebody to you. That's what I feel like this is. This is somebody coming to, to help you. They are. I think that you have been in a destructive situation and somebody is coming. Somebody's coming. All right. Um, this is the answer to your prayers, Libra. It is the answer to your prayers. What do we got for Libra? We got we have some sort of renewal going on. Peace, peace of mind. You're you're about to be saved from a situation. That was very uh, hard to be in, put it that way. It probably left you traumatized. <laughs> That's fine. That works, too. Anyhow, um, yeah, I feel like we have somebody that is coming to your aid. One card for Libra, please. Walking away. So yes, you somebody is leaving behind a situation that is definitely unfulfilling. Saying goodbye. Uh, the card speaks for itself. This is closing a chapter. It's a nine. It's closure. Okay. Uh, it's a sign to move on when you see a nine. Okay. It's time for closure. It's time to walk away. So I honestly feel like you are leaving something behind and or, for good for good or somebody is walking away from you this could go vice versa this is an exit somebody is ex exiting okay they're going someplace else what do we have for libra and per and you know what i just heard or saw somebody maybe leaving something and headed towards you uh interesting Ten of Swords reverse. This is freedom, liberation. So you may be broken free. You may be making the choice to take those swords out of your back and pick yourself up and, and stop waiting. Stop waiting for this person that hurt you so badly, that betrayed you. I think that you guys are letting it end. I feel like you're going to be starting over. This is liberation and freedom. This is uh, regaining your health starting to go in a new direction healing and I, there's healing here as well in that card six of cups six of cups is memories it's the past it is the past remembering the past eight of swords reverse letting go the eight of swords reverse is removing an obstacle of the past remembering what love feels like Somebody from the past could be coming back into your life. Now, this could be somebody from a past life. And like I said, here as well. Somebody that you have known before. Somebody that you have known in a past life or in a, when you were younger is maybe coming into your life now that, that, that an obstacle has been removed. This is the emptiness going away. It's the end of betrayal. It's the end of loneliness. I think there is somebody that you knew when you were a, lo a long time ago that is coming back into your life. Uh, 
you will be very, very tempted to this person. You probably have been in some sort, you're probably going to be tempted to take this new opportunity, but you still may be connected to somebody else, your past lover. You may still have to sever some ties. I mean, the devil is uh, something that is unhealthy, something that is toxic. Um, this is bound to a toxic situation. Six of Swords, you must move on. You must move on. It's time to go. You gotta go. You gotta leave the toxic situation that kept you down behind. It's like somebody is coming to help you. This person um, was sent to you from above. Let them take their hand and go with them. Go with them. It feels like you are being told to move on from this unhealthy, toxic, toxic situation that has kept you down for so long, but you keep focusing on the past. This other person is somebody you have known before as well. You you are have been trapped in a space of fear, trapped in a betrayed situation where you be, be, were betrayed, keeping yourself there. For, because of the memories, because of how good it was at one time, it's time to walk away. You have an opportunity with somebody who can, you know, help you to heal. I feel like it's time to broaden your horizons, get prepared, get prepared because somebody is about to arrive. I'm not kidding. This person has been at a distance. They have been at a distance, but here they come. Yeah, somebody has been trapped in an unrealistic situation that was really dissatisfying. You know, and it may have been a third party situation where there was a lack of respect. Somebody may have engaged you in a third party situation um, because they needed to fill a void or something like that. I feel as though you have this in knowing you probably know that there was another person. You know that this is toxic. You know that this is unhealthy. I think that you know that it's time to go. I feel like you have been praying and hoping that things would change and you're hoping that somebody from your somebody that you were last with would would come around or that they would come back but I don't think that's the case. I think you have somebody else that you didn't that you don't expect. Okay, I don't think this is somebody that you expect. I think it's somebody else other than the one that you have been trying to get back. Put it that way. I think that you have been dealing with some people that really aren't your friends. They may have gotten you engaged in some uh, gossiping or some bad behavior. Um, but this is a card of a lack of emotional growth and parting ways with these people that don't support you emotionally. I feel like... Um, you have been dealing with some people that really, really, really aren't your friends. Maybe you sensed it. Maybe you knew it. These people are totally, totally not. Um, they don't have your best interest at heart. Um, and I think that you have been putting in effort to work with these people. And these people, it's like they like to keep you scared because this is fear. I think deep down that you know that whoever these this third party situation is or whoever these people are that you are dealing with, I think deep down you know that they are not your people. They're not your people. I think you know that. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with, um, we have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's a lot of memories of the past, a lot of reminiscing here. And I think that's what has happened is somebody has allowed themselves to be confined to a situation that was unhealthy because of the good times, right? But now it's a time of freedom and liberation from this toxic, unhealthy situation. Somebody is, it's like somebody is coming to save you. They're coming to the rescue. Be prepared for an arrival, Libra. Something is arriving. 
It's something that you are going to be very excited about. You may have sensed it. You may have uh, seen it coming. This is a major new beginning here. One phase of your life is over. You have learned a big lesson about unhealthy relationships, about self-worth and self-love as well. I think you have gained a lot of uh, abilities. You probably went through some sort of spiritual awakening during this time of despair. I think you have. I feel like you are no longer the same person. You have become more uh, awakened. You have become more self-sufficient. This is like a fortress here. You are a force to be reckoned with. And nobody can get anything by you because of this pain that you have endured. It's really woken you up in a, in a huge way. Anyhow, I feel like there are there is a third party situation that you are parting ways from. There could be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. It is not the one that betrayed you. So get that out of your head right now. It's not. It is somebody else. That chapter of betrayal is over. It's done. So... Be prepared for a major new beginning. Um, something is arriving. This is an arrival that you didn't that you should be getting prepared for right now. Get prepared. I'm telling you right now. Get prepared for something to arrive. This is going to uh, make you very happy because this goes gets you to a happy place. This is definitely going to make you happy. Queen of Cups reverse. You may be you may have this third party situation may be involving a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is vindictive. They are revengeful. They're not very loving. They're not very gentle. They're not very kind. This could be a mother that is not a very good mother. This person um, could be a wicked stepmother, somebody that is very malicious. This person doesn't even know what love is, doesn't know how to love. You may sense this person's ill intentions. This person does not have good intentions. They may have been a thorn in your side. But that cycle with this person is over. It's over. So whoever this person is, that cycle, it's over. This person is is uh, being departing. Departing the situation. And there's going to be some sort of reconciliation here with somebody that I feel like it's from your childhood. May have something to do with a mother. This is a rebirth. After all the pain, you will receive a blessing. The Empress, which represents you, and Taurus. This is a new beginning for you. You are about to be blessed with a new beginning. If you are a Libra male, you may be... Uh, having a new beginning with a Taurus or a Libra. This person is loving. This person is, is caring. This per person is nurturing. This person is valuable. This person is, is beautiful, very compassionate, and will do anything to make the relationship grow. If you are the Libra woman, this is you. This is you that is receiving a gift for the pain that you have endured. Because after the pain, you receive a gift which is the gift of a new life, which is a very abundant and beautiful. So wh whoever is watching this, this is the gift of a new life that is very abundant and beautiful. We have a major new beginning here that you deserve for all the pain that you have endured. Somebody is going to be departing from a wicked witch, okay? From a wicked witch and their friends. They're flying monkeys or whatever. And I feel like it's it's coming out of that trap. It's coming out of that mental space of confusion. It's coming out of fear. This is no longer worth it. It's I'm not going to invest my time and energy here. Now we have an, uh, somebody else that is entering the scene that is, is coming to protect you and save you and take care of you. That's what I see. That is what I see. So I, th I feel like... Uh, Get prepared for an arrival that is is going to this per whoever it is that is is coming is is something that you have asked for. Good luck.